So first we make a product class model. This product class I can have the ability to transform JSON data properties to properties with all the fields. These fields are, can be used in the uh, in the app directly to enhance the uh, app. Nothing fancy here. In the end we export a JSON a part JSON file. It's not mandatory only for the sake of this video. In the app JSON file we get rid of all the core boilerplate code and we start making our widgets. This widget actually will have the uh, specific routes, for example, the main route and then the uh, on route setting that will redirect to the story screens with all the arguments. And also we will have the, uh, so we will build the product uh, group. So in this case, we will need to format the product group as the model of us that we uh, have used and also to parse most of the, uh, most of the products and, and the uh, related, uh, related properties. And in the end, we add them to uh, as a product group. This will be uh, very handy in the end when we need to send the product between the screens. And then in the body, we will need to just use some uh, styling, let's say, and then we will make sure that this will be scrollable uh, horizontally. And we will add a gesture detector on, on top of the uh, circle avatar. And this will actually, when whenever we click, it will have uh, go to the story with all the argument of the ID and also the products of that uh, group. In the story setting, we will have a stateful widget when we need to make sure that every, the ID and the products are uh, already passed by the uh, route settings uh, or by the class actually, and then via the route settings as we did before. And then we will have the index as started from zero and the percentage progress as an array. And then we need to uh, we need to um, just build the widget first. So we will use a uh, stack navigator or uh, let's say stack uh, widgets. And then we will build the nav bar uh, and also all the bars. The, and then we need to have couple position positioned elements. Uh, for example, it depends on you how you want to style it. But I want to have more uh, positioned uh, items, not only the nav bar in the top, and also the, the profile, the circle avatar, and uh, the close button itself for the closing the, the story setting. Now when it comes to build uh, the nav bar, we need to make sure that or for my styling, I already put the circle avatar and then next to it, they will have a, um, they will have the close button to close that. And then we will have also the title of the element. For example, the product uh, category, you can put any uh, title for this. I, I put the product category and then we will have the close button. Now for build uh, the bar itself, we need to use a package called uh, percent indicator. We will use the linear gradient for uh, that class. I will put this in the, the description below. So in the init state, we loop through all the products and we put uh, the progress indicator at 0.0, .0 because it's double. And then we add watch progress. This will do, uh, do this will have a timer and it will set the state of the percentage progress 0.0, .0 as long as it's not, uh, it's not uh, one yet. Otherwise, if the progress exceeds one, then we need to cancel the timer and set it to one. And in such a case, also, we need to make sure that the progress indicator or the index is uh, less than the length. Then we go to the next uh, current index and we add the watch in progress again. Uh, in the, uh, and if we finished, we just uh, trigger the navigator to go back. Now for clicking on the next and uh, for the next screen and the previous screen, we use on tap. This has the ability to pass the details and we can take the DX parameter from the global position and then we can divide it by the screen, uh, uh, by the width of the screen. So if we are clicking on the first half, which is the uh, left side, we are knowing that uh, we are clicking on previous. So here we setting the, uh, we make sure the index is greater than zero, and then we uh, make it uh, less than one, and we decrease the uh, the whole index. And in the next, we uh, will try the other side. We will try to uh, check if the length of the products is still, uh, uh, the, the current index is less than the length of the product. And then we uh, add it to one and then we increase the index. And in such a case, we are, uh, I think, good to go to test it out. So we see first, we will use the, the first case where we try to uh, make the whole progress to finish and then go to the next. 
and as you can see it will finish its all the three and then it will go back to the to the uh, i mean it will close the navigator and here we if we click on the left or right side we can start the whole uh progress the current progress from the zero with that we are done here so thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and share and see you next time